Cindy Lyon from Greetings and Memories here to show you card number four from our Sweet Strawberry card class. So this time we are working with our Poppy Parade and Garden Green. And again, I did include a small strip of patterned paper from the now retired um, Berry Blessings, but any green patterned paper that you might have will work great there. If you happen to have any of the Forever Fern papers, those could work. Um, and there are some others that you could try as well. So in our supply envelope, you will have an envelope that I did not include in my packet. <laughs> but then you have your thick white card base. We have a poppy parade layer, that little strip of patterned paper. We have a little strip of white that we will use for our sentiment. And then we have the scrap of white that we'll use to stamp and cut out two strawberries and two strawberry caps. So let's do that part first. And I will be silent during this portion so that we can fast forward through it. Like I said, I'm going to stamp two strawberries and two strawberry caps. Okay, now that we have the fussy cutting done, we'll glue our strawberry caps onto our strawberries as soon as I get the ink flowing again. Seems like it's feast or famine today. It's either coming out too fast or not coming out at all. There we go. That doesn't take very much. Okay, I'll set those aside and finish up our stamping. So the next part we want to do is we're going to grab our Poppy Parade layer and our Poppy Parade ink and that larger block and that 
image with the uh, blossoms and the leaves. And you can see what I did on this example as I stamped it on the left, but instead of stamping it way up at the top like we did with our uh, blue card, we're going to do it more towards the center. So let me ink that up and stamp it on here. And we'll set that layer aside. And close up the red and bring the green back out again. And now we're going to take our little strip of white on our thank you stamp. And we'll stamp that sentiment and garden green on the white strip. And I am going to kind of do it towards the left hand side because you can see here, we're gonna cut those ends off at an angle. So I'll get this on here. And that finishes up all the stamping for this card. Close that ink up again. So now to get those angles there, I am going to take my stamped sentiment and lay that on top of my strip of the green patterned paper and cut them both at the same time. So then that way I know that the angles are going to match. And now let's start gluing this all together. We'll take our base and adhere our Poppy Parade layer to that first. Give that a little nudge. It's my only complaint about the stamp and seal. I like how smooth it is and how well it holds, but every once in a while I have to give it a nudge to get it going because it gets hung up there. So let me get this lined up here as straight as I can without getting my head in the shot. Okay, so now the next step is we're gonna take this green layer and as you can see, all of our Patterned papers are double-sided. <laughs> and I'm going to adhere that so that the edge of it lines up with the edge of my red layer. And then I'm going to take my sentiment and put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that because I want that raised up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry if you just heard my stomach gurgle. I haven't eaten lunch yet, so. And now what I want to do here is I want these points to kind of line up. So I'm going to place that just like that. And now I'm going to take these strawberries and we're going to put, I don't know how to explain what I did here on this one. I put dimensionals at the top and not at the bottom because I wanted that to kind of slide under. So yeah, we're going to do a dimensional here and a dimensional here, and then we're going to leave this part along. And then I'm going to put that so, just so the corner of it just tucks under our sentiment there. And now this one, I'll go ahead and put three dimensionals on it. layer 
that right over the top. That's okay. There we go. Just like that. So there you go. There's our fourth card finished. Again, go ahead and add whatever you'd like on the inside. And don't forget to decorate the envelope because we have no naked envelopes. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this month's class and we will see you again soon.